Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'd like to present you this Wi-Fi extender from TP-Link. It's the model NE315 and I'm going to show you what's inside the box and how to configure it to extend your existing network. I'm going to use the mesh feature and I want to see what is the speed on the 5 gigahertz network because right now I have a gigabit network in my home but in the garden the signal on the 5 gigahertz network is very very low so I barely can use it and I bought this to put it close to the garden to see if I can amplify the signal in the garden as you can see it's brand new it comes in this box and over the box we have a plastic wrap let's take it out Okay, this is the box. We have a picture with the product. Here we have another picture with the product and some specifications. Here a picture on how this device is supposed to work and other specifications. Again, I know that this device can do a lot more than just extend the Wi-Fi network as a mesh. But in my case, I want to set it up as a mesh. You can set it up if you want as a simple Wi-Fi extender. Okay, here we have some papers. Quick installation guide and another quick installation guide. And here we have the device. As you can see, it's, it's okay. In terms of size, it's okay. It fits in my hand. It has two antennas. You can rotate them like this. But only that, you cannot uh, do like this with them. So you can only rotate them. It's a white matte plastic. Here we have a reset button. Here we have another button. Here we have an LJ45 port. And this is it. Here we have some LEDs, power, Wi-Fi, 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz. And that's it. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to install it. And first I want to try the speed near the router on the 5 GHz to see what is the speed near the router. Then I go into the garden to see what is the speed on the 5 GHz in my garden without this device and then I'm going to connect this device and I'm going to test the speed on the 5 GHz network in my garden with this device. In order to set it up I'm going to use the Tether application from TP-Link. It's very simple but first I want to do the test in the garden and near the router. Stay with me. Okay guys, so I'm near the router right now. As you can see over there is the router. Okay, let's start the speed test. I'm on the 5 GHz network, so let's start it. This is the download speed on the 5 GHz network near the router. And this is the upload speed. So let's say 500 with 500 mega. Okay. Now I want to go outside to show you in the garden what speed I get on the 5 GHz network. Okay, so I'm in the garden now as you can see. Let's start the test. So this is the old one. And now we start a new one. Let's see. Yeah, exactly as expected, the speed is very very low, so only 36 megs for download. And as you can see I have only one level of signal. And now this is the upload speed, wow, very low. Yeah. Yeah, so the speeds, as you can see, are very, very low. 
Okay guys, so right now I'm near a socket. I plug this in. As you can see, there is a white LED here. You need to make sure that you have this white LED on. Of course, this device should be able to get some network from the router, so don't go too far from the old router with it, okay? For the setup. Then after the setup, you can take it far. So in order to set it up, I'm going to use the Tether application from TP-Link. I already have an account, so I don't need to create another one. I have some devices. This is my actual router and this is another repeater. Okay, what I need to do now is add plus, range extender. You need to make sure that the power LED is solid on, it is. Okay, permissions. And now you, it, it's asking you to connect to the extender. Press connect. It's connected. Now you have to create a password. I'm going to pause the video and create a password. Okay. And now it's asking which network do you want it to extend. Okay. First is the 2.4 gigahertz network. I'm going to press this one. It's asking for the password, I'm going to keep the same one. And then the 5 GHz is this one. The same password or you can modify it, but I suggest you to keep the same password. It's, it's asking for the password, it's already populated, so I'm pressing next. Again, these are the passwords and the networks. And now it will apply the settings. And this is how I will create a mesh network and I'll have the same network and I don't have to connect and disconnect to the repeater in order to get Wi-Fi. So from my perspective, from my smartphone perspective, it will see it as the same network and I don't have to worry about connecting and disconnecting to another wireless router. Okay, now it's connected. So, as you can see, everything is set up. What I need to do right now is to go outside and do the speed test to see what is the actual speed. Okay guys, so I'm back in the garden. As you can see right now, the Wi-Fi coverage is much better than before. So let's do the speed test. Let's start. Okay, and let's see the speed. Okay. Much, much better. So as you can see, we have up to 100 mega. This is very good on download. Let's see on the upload. Okay, so close to 40, 30, 40 mega on upload. It's also good compared to before. So I'm quite happy that I'll be able to use it in my garden. Okay, so 100 download and 44 upload. Very good. Okay guys, so this was my review for this TP-Link Wi-Fi extender. If you find it useful and if you like it, please subscribe and hit the like button. Thanks.